Well, next tonight to the appeal to help save a unique tracked hovercraft prototype which has been sitting on display in Peterborough for years. Yes, the RTV 31, as it's known, is a local landmark at the Rail World Centre. But the concrete rail it sits on is in poor condition and the vehicle itself also needs repairs. And they urgently have to find the funds to get it moved so they could assess its condition or else it might have to be scrapped. Our reporter Stuart Leiths has been to take a look. After decades on display at the Rail World Wildlife Haven in Peterborough, this prototype of a tracked hovercraft has seen better days. And its better days were back in the 1970s when it sped along this test track built in the fens. But Brian Pearce, who runs Rail World, now fears it could be cut up and scrapped if he can't raise the funds to replace the concrete rail it sits on and repair the metal vehicle itself. The reality is, until we get it down, we don't really know. You can't really do a survey up there because it's too difficult, but we know it's got to come down. So until then, we don't really know. We've said maybe 20, 30,000, but that 20, 30,000 could be the cost of getting it down and just doing a survey. The tracked hovercraft was a project developed in the 1960s with the vision of creating an entirely new form of public transport, which they believed would have been able to travel at up to 300 miles an hour. It used fans to hover and a magnetic motor to move along a metal rail. The test track was built running along the side of the River Delf in Cambridgeshire, near the village of Erith. The only sign it ever existed are three concrete supports, which can still be accessed via a public footpath. In 1973, the government decided to withdraw the funding and cancel the project, but this piece of concept art shows how it was intended to be a new high-speed transport system running from London to Scotland. Filmmaker Drew Berry has devoted himself to digitising old footage of the project, which was shot when the test track was constructed. RTV 31 is absolutely unique and my concern is that the legacy of those who worked on her 50 years ago and well, not only that, 20 years later after she was abandoned and then saved, my concern is that their legacy will be lost. Crane manager Donny Gardner was visiting the site to assess how easy it would be to lift the RTV 31. It's fairly difficult to be fair, but based on its age, uh, we don't know its structural integrity. So we'd, we'd, in order to get that down, we'd have to get that tested for the lifting points. Uh, if we're going to lift it with a beam, it's getting the weight right, it's space to get a, a, a machine in uh, and access. Brian and his fellow volunteers first rescued RTV 31 from the scrap heap back in the 1990s. Now they have to try to save it again. Stuart Leith's ITV News, Peterborough. What an amazing story. Our region at the forefront of that new technology and such a shame it didn't get off the ground. Let's hope they can save it.